There's a number of problems that can happen to fruit and fruit quality. One of the most common ones is stink bugs. And what stink bugs do is they stick their little beaks in and poke around and so they tend to disrupt the tissue of the fruit uh, and so it doesn't ripen very well in those places where it's caused damage. Sometimes they'll actually hit green fruit as well and in that case you get some sunken pits or some other spots. Another issue that we have with uh, tomatoes is sun scalding. The plant foliage doesn't cover the fruit very well. Um, it basically gets sunburnt and so this area of the tomato is all white and shriveled uh, and typically won't ripen. Um, and so one of the best ways to handle that uh, is by having a nice dense foliage canopy to help protect that fruit. Other issues that can happen with tomatoes are calcium deficiency, otherwise known as blossom end rot. Oftentimes it'll cause a large brown shriveled area on the bottom of the fruit, but sometimes it'll also cause these small uh, flecks of brown and shriveled tissue. Uh, and one of the reason that this happens is because the plant goes from periods of uh, severe drought to severe soil moisture and these fluctuations in, in the water status in the plant uh, leads to calcium deficiencies within the tissue. Tomatoes are very susceptible to cracking of the fruit. Here you can see this uh, cracking of the green fruit and this happens because of excessive moisture events but also because of excessive fertilizer. If you're using a little bit too much nitrogen uh, you can end up with cracking across the top of green fruit. Oftentimes on red and ripening fruit we have these splits that occur like this where they go around the fruit uh, and, and actually split the, the ripening skin. And again, that's really just a matter of soil moisture management. Uh, so one of the things you want to make sure you do is give the plants an even amount of water uh, daily or every other day or every third day but on a regular schedule and also to not water them after heavy rain events. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.